Yes, everybody, welcome back to Talking Wars and welcome back to a brand new transfer video today. We're going to be doing a little bit of a roundup. The January transfer window is officially shut now. Um, it's been a little bit frustrating, if I'm completely honest. I think it's been one of the quietest windows ever since I started this channel, really. We, I know there have been quiet windows with Wars, but there's still been enough news and rumours to talk about, whereas this, this month has been really, really quiet. And I think overall Wolves will be quite quite disappointed with how it's finished, to be honest. Um, but thankfully, we're in an OK position in the league. The squad that we've got is actually quite good. Um, so we'll we'll see. You know, we can hopefully cope till the end of the season and hopefully it's a big summer from there. Before we get into it, though, guys, our channel partners over at Football Prizes have got another fantastic Wolves prize up for grabs. This week, it's a Jose Sar signed and custom-framed goalkeeper glove alongside loads of instant win prizes. So to get involved in that, you can just click the link at the top of the description of this video and get involved in their prize draw, which ends next Wednesday. But just sort of an overview and over, well, a recap of what's gone on over the last 24, 48 hours, really. If you missed it, I did a very quick live stream yesterday afternoon on some of the stuff going into the final few hours of the deadline day. And obviously no more incomings came in. The only signing for Wolves of note really was obviously Noah Lamina. Um, who wasn't in the squad la last night against Manchester United, but has been given a squad number, um, and hopefully we'll see him, whether it's in the under-21s or seeing him in the squad uh, quite soon. Um, Johnny Phillips, who's been on the channel before, does things for Sky Sports, put out a thread earlier on in regards to sort of his view of the transfer window overall, but he put a, a few snippets in there, basically saying that Gary O'Neill was frustrated that Wolves haven't been able to bring in a strike at this transfer window. It was always going to be difficult with the finances and so on. Wolves are always going to be looking for loans with an option to buy, which teams aren't particularly, you know, happy with a lot of the time, uh, rather than an obligation to buy. Um, and one of the players that Wolves apparently considered was Carlos Vinicius from Fulham. Uh, an OK player, and I think, again, would have been an alright striker to add to the Wolves, Wolves team. Um, Wolves have been linked with him previously before, but it, that move didn't actually go that far uh, down the line, if I'm honest. But Johnny had also put his thoughts in regards to Fosa and what they're going to be like in the future. Um, and I think, you know, I've spoken to people and you know, spoken to people closer to the club than I am. And I just wish that things, that Fosa sort of at least backed Gary O'Neill with one good signing in this, this January. And I'm not saying Noah Lamine is not a good signing, but giving him a little, a little bit of pot of, a, a little pot of money for Matt Hobbs and Gary O'Neill to sort of put together them, their heads and, and, and bring someone of note in. And I don't think it will cost us because really the expectations for, for this season were rock bottom. And Wolves are sort of very much exceeding those expectations. I think the message to Gary O'Neill in August was, right, make sure you keep Wolves in the Premier League. And obviously he's surpassing that. He's getting a scoring goals. He's getting a real feel-good feeling around Molyneux and, and the fan base. Um, and we're still in the FA Cup as well. So I think he'll be disappointed. But at the end of the day, Fosun probably saying, look, we're not going to overreact. We'll, we'll hold it. And uh, let's wait and see. Hopefully um, by... You know, the summer, we're in a decent position and can start spending money again because this whole financial fair play, profit and sustainability and clubs being scared of it can't last forever. Cl clubs can, of course, be more sensible with it, but they can't be scared of it because it's just going to frustrate the life out of fans and the football clubs as well. Um, the only other big, obviously, deal that fell apart, or well, two deals really, one that I mentioned on yesterday's live stream was the Brazilian forward, um, Yuri Alberto. Um Obviously, Wolves had a deal agreed with Brazilian club Corinthians to bring the 22-year-old in. There was a deal agreed between the player and Wolves for a loan with an option to buy, but the mo uh, but that that broke down quite late on on Wednesday night due to finances and obviously agents requesting more money. So Wolves had to move on from that. The most straightforward target yesterday was going to be Armando Broja. Um, Chelsea moved their goalposts so much on this one. Of course, I'd posted before about the obligation or the amount of money that Chelsea wanted if uh, Broja was going to be let go. They then said yesterday morning they were open to a, a straight loan after they'd rejected a Wolves loan bit a few days ago. Um, but the loan fee was going to be around that £5 million mark, which again, for a few months, is, is a lot of money. Um, in the end, Fulham agreed a deal with them late afternoon yesterday um, and it's it, they join in Fulham with a maximum loan fee of about £4 million. I think there's loads of caveats if he plays certain games, if he scores a certain amount of goals, Chelsea are obviously going to you know change that fee. Uh, but in the end, 
for him, I think he was always bound to stay in London. It would have been a good signing. I don't think it's the end of the world that he's not come to Wolves. I think it would have been a good signing and good good to get another body in. But I'm not I'm not going to lose any sleep over you know losing out on Armando Roger. To be fair, a couple of late signings yesterday. Then uh, players leaving the club actually. Joe Hodge, um, I'd said and, and mentioned him uh, a couple of days ago on players to look out for. He has gone out on loan to Queens Park Rangers Championship side. R should be a really good loan for Joe Hodge if he can get some game time there. Strangely, he was on the bench yesterday for Wolves in that uh, defeat at Ma against Manchester United, uh, but that loan move was pretty much confirmed straight after full time. Uh, Nigel Lombike as well, um, centre back, was out on loan at Grasshoppers for the first part of the season. Unfortunately, had quite a nasty injury, so come back and um, now. Uh, Going to be back at Wickham um, for the remainder of the season. So good to get him some first team football again. Good level uh, for him, I think. You know, after an injury as well, really kick on because he, he a player with potential. He's just got to kick on that little bit more now, Nigel Lombard as well. Um, Theo Corbanu as well, another player that was at Grasshoppers alone. Another player that I mentioned to keep our eye on uh, through the closing days of the window. Uh, his deal to. Uh, Top division Spanish side Granada has gone through, um, so he's left Wolves on a permanent basis. It's thought that the fee, according to transfer marked, could be in around 1.5 million euros, which I don't think is too bad of a fee. And Wolves have done quite well out of that over the years as well uh, for Fio Corbanu. Um, and today it was confirmed that Owen Farmer, the Wolves under 21s forward, I think he was uh, away for pre season with Lopetegui and so on at the start of the season. He's joined Rush All Olympic on loan for the remainder of the season as well. A couple of people had, uh, well, yeah, one or two people had asked me yesterday about Bruno Jordao as well because he's been in and around the under 21s. Um, still really unsure on what's going on with him. We may well see him move on because um, there are still some transfer windows open um, abroad at the moment. So Bruno Jordan may well move on, but there's not been any news, rumours or anything on him, to be completely honest. So may well just be a player that's sitting around the uh, the 21s uh, once again. But uh, that's all, guys. Uh, a very quick update. Unfortunately, it has been quite a frustrating window for Wolves. I'm sure they would have wanted to get one or two more in. But ultimately, look, Wolves are in a good position in the Premier League. The group of lads that we've got have been brilliant so far and long may that continue. Hopefully we can continue scoring goals. Um, you know, we scored three goals yesterday without the need of a number nine. Um, if defensively we can, you know, get a little bit better, every chance that we could have beat Manchester United yesterday. So, um, yeah, I think we'll be OK. And um, w is it the difference between us and, you know, not making Europe or not qualifying uh, or getting further in the FA Cup? Possibly. But ultimately, I don't think, you know, we, we don't know at the end of the day. I think the squad that we've got is more than good enough to compete. And fingers crossed that they can do so when we have a successful end to the season. As always, guys, I appreciate your support over the last few weeks during this January transfer window. Unfortunately, there's not been a huge amount to talk about. But uh, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Loads of content coming out. We'll have the Chelsea preview out uh, tomorrow morning as well. And uh, loads of pre-match, uh, post-match Chelsea content as well coming out. As always, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and your weekend. And I'll catch you all very, very soon.